Okay, last minute um, edition for my reading rush. Um, like the genre books you want to read more of. Um, it's more like graphic novel slash LGBT um, book. So there are things I can't tell you by Idiako Mufu Mufu. Mufu Mufu. I'm sorry, but um, I'm adding that on to the books I want to read um, for the reading rush this week. So, yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes and how I like it, and along with the other books that I want to read. Okay, so it's day two of reading rush. Early in the morning. <laughs> Um, so yesterday I made about halfway through Winter by Jeff Morat, and I started, uh, there are things that I can't tell you, so I'm, a, um, less than 10% into that one, so, yeah. So, a little update. Let's, um, let's see how far I can get today in those two. Hopefully, I don't start another one of my books. <laughs> um, hopefully, I finish at least one or both today. Um, the graphic novel is over 400 pages, so I might not be finishing that one today, maybe tomorrow. But, yeah. There it goes. Reading Rush Day 2. I've finished Winter by Jeff Morat. So, one down, one book down. Um, I'll likely still be continuing the manga that um, was a late addition to uh, the list, but I um, likely be reading that. Um, <coughs> <coughs> tonight so um that's the hope anyway but um um might start a new uh, book um on the list but day two update one down and part way through another so on track for the moment Okay, so we finished There Are Things I Can't Tell You this morning, and so now I've got to choose A Little Princess or A Chain of Gold. I don't have The Poison Pilgrim with me, but I'm going to be reading that one at home. But yeah, so I'm going to be starting um, Chain of Gold or A Little Princess um, sometime today, so day three of Reading Rush. Let it begin. <laughs> okay, so it's later on day three of the reading rush. So, and I just started a little bit of the of A Little Princess and Chain of Gold. Chain of Gold is my read outside of um, your home. So, while I'm on the bus to work or if I'm on the break, that's when I'm gonna read it. And A Little Princess is my book that I watched the movie beforehand and I'm reading it now and <laughs> so yeah so I finished two books so far The Winter by Jeff Marat and there are things I just can't tell you <laughs> I have to recheck the title but yeah that was a, a late edition so that's my, the one that of like genres or type of books you want to read more of so like I've been trying to read more some like LGBT um, books and I want to try to re read some manga but it'd have to be a certain certain storyline that I would um, 
like and not a whole lot of volumes because like apparently there's like some with like a few dozen volumes <laughs> I would want a story that's like done in like one or two volumes three or four max maybe <laughs> um, but yeah and but so a little princess and chain of gold I want to try to get to finishing within the next few days um, it's Wednesday so um, I can totally likely do a little princess within likely um, finish it um, by Friday morning most likely and then because that's it's not a um, totally long book and Chain of Gold will take me a while because it's my I'm reading it on my Kobo so that's it's 477 pa pages so it, that's going to take me the longest one and then I still have Poison to Pilgrim to do <laughs> so that might be my weekend read so yeah progress <laughs> on my first like not just my first reading rush but my first like readathon so I'm excited about this so awesome okay <laughs> so I it's the Saturday um, second last day of reading rush and I have finished a little princess so there's that and now I just have to I'm 15% into um, chain of gold and just poison to pilgrim so update later Okay, so slightly later on the Saturday, second last day of Reading Rush, I'm now 22% into Chain of Gold. So, um, and that's my read outside the house book. So I'll likely read some more on the bus. It should be here in, in like a minute or two. But yeah, so hopefully I'll get a little further on in there and then continue on reading The Poison to Pilgrim. Um, so, yeah, catch you later tomorrow, depending on when I record. Okay, <laughs> so, last day of the reading rush, I made it 33% into Chain of Gold, which my, was my outside the house read, and first touch read. So, I won't be able to, um read anymore because I would likely won't be going out for the rest of the day so I won't be able to finish those two prompts though I could last minute change the first touch to one of my neck alley review books so possibly change, last minute quick change uh, for first touch um, but yeah uh, I've about I want to say about 20% into The Poison Pilgrim. I'll read some more pages today of that book, so I'll likely get further along, but I likely won't do another update video like this to add on to this video. So I'll read a bit more of The Poison to Pilgrim for um, the last prompt. I think that's what I used this one for. But, yeah, um, I possibly will do an update later, but we'll see. This might be my last one for um, the Reading Rush video mashup or whatever. Um, you want to update? whatever you want to call it. I've been I've been doing this a lot lately. <laughs> um but check this guy out. <laughs> From Awesome Sauce Designs out in Vancouver, so sport sporting Canadian. <laughs>
And, yeah. That's, that creamsicle is, like, one of the cheaper ones um, of the stained glass. You can get cards and super pouches, too, but um, mainly those are sun catchers or whatever are what um, is made. I think they have an actual location where you could come and do it yourself and learn how to do it. But, um, yeah, that's like 24 bucks. <laughs> and it goes, like, up from there. But, yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> okay, so. Doing, <laughs> actually doing an uh, updated outro, I guess. <laughs> um, just final bit of reading rush. So, um, uh, for the first prompt book with the um, birth, birthstone color on the cover, I was able to do that with The Winter by Jeff Marriott. Um, second starts with The. It was supposed to be The Poisoned Pilgrim, but I was... Uh, but it happened to be The Complete Grimoire. Um, three so two was a switch um book inspired by a movie you already seen a little princess so that stayed the same um read the first book you touch so i decided first book i touched for from my net galley query and which was witchcraft cocktails so i completed that um it was supposed to be chain of gold but answer in the next one. <laughs> um, prompt five, read a book completely outside your house. It's supposed to be a chain of gold. I tried reading it on the bus at work and whatnot. It's a chunky book and I was only able to get 33% into the book. I should have been able to get further along, um, but I didn't. Um, six, read a book in a genre you want to read more of. There are things I can't tell you, was the book. Um, or, um, I'm trying to read more books that are, like, LG, um, LGBT, um, centered. And also, um, I want to see um, what kind of manga graphic novels that I would like. So that kind of combined two things I would um, see what I would like. And I actually did, did like that one. So, um, yeah. Uh, I stuck with that one and seven was read a book that takes place in a different continent and that's um, The Poisoned Pilgrim by Oliver Potch um, takes place in Bavaria before it became part of um, like Prussia what would be like the combination of um, the German states um, and I only was able to get a little bit into that book. I was able, um, both uh, that book and Chain of Gold are close to 500 pages, and I did make a good um, put into those, so I'm not, um, I'm happy about that, so I'm not um, cutting those short. Um, but I was able to read a few, so like four other um, books from my NetGalley query. 
So, um, so one, two, so all in all I was able to read like at least seven books. Um, I forget if that was part of the list, I think that was, but yeah, at least seven books. Um, it would have been nine if I was able to finish. Um, Chain of Gold and The Poison Pilgrim, but I wasn't, was not successful, but for my first read-a-thon, type of reading-thon, or like reading, um, first time attempting, um, reading rush, and my first ever read-a-thon, surprising I haven't tried, um, once before, but I think I've done pretty well with this, and... Yeah, last, a few last minute switches and stuff, um, but yeah, I was, again, like I, I'd do it again next year, um, see what kind of prompts they come up with <laughs> for next year and everything, but yeah, I think it was pretty successful for, for, him, for me at least, but yeah, it's been, it was a great reading week, <laughs> happy readings.